the formidable robot. On January 14th, VHS tapes containing footage from the haunted mansion were found in the library room, located in the ballroom of the mansion. It was reported that the footage was recorded during the first occasion of the mansion during 1982. One tape was, Incident 82, and the other was, Incident 92. The other tape was yet to be found. The first tape was reported to be recorded by Anthony Farnsville during a walkthrough of the mansion where said mansion reportedly experienced a blackout due to heavy thunderstorms. It was said that during the period of 2.40 p.m. to 4.10 p.m., four of the ten guests mysteriously vanished. Surprisingly, audio of the footage was leaked but the audio was very grainy, so people kept digging further. It wasn't until March 20, 2014 when the entire footage was recovered and entirely repaired with some help of repairing the tapes themselves. Due to mold and mildew in the tape, some parts of the tape were cut halfway or all of the tape had to be cut. So, some things may be abrupt. The tape started with a group of people entering the elevator and the famous dialogue from the hallway starts. You remember the one, right? Welcome, foolish mortals, to the haunted mansion. I am your host, your ghost host. Kindly step all the way in, please, and make room for everyone. There's no turning back now. Our tour begins here in this gallery, where you see paintings of some of our guests as they appeared in their corruptible mortal state. As the dialogue continued as normal, and when the ghost host said, Of course, there's always my way. Thunder was heard followed by a crash, causing the mansion to shake. Everyone was heard panicking and screaming before the tape cuts immediately to the ride continuing through the hallway, with thunder shaking the ground and causing the ride to go uneasy, along with the music getting slightly more and more distorted with each second. Muffled dialogue of the narrator was heard with some notable rippling sounds. The camera cuts to a bird's eye view of the graveyard. Three shadowy figures were shown. Now, people may confuse the three shadowy figures as the Ice Angels from the Holiday variant, but the variant didn't open until 2001. As the camera followed one of the Doom Buggies, something happened. The audio stopped. The music stopped. The atmosphere stopped. Instead, a near-ratingly loud evil cackle was heard, followed by thunderous thunderclap. Yeah! One of the singing busts suddenly fell off from their stands. It was reported that the projector faces suddenly caught on fire. One of the workers had to use a fire extinguisher to stop the fire. If that wasn't bad enough, four of the people were reported missing after a checkup from the workers revealed an empty Doom Buggy when there were four people in the Doom Buggy before. The only reported thing from the mansion was a transcript of a report dating August 30, 1982. Status, Doom Buggies are stationary. All guests on the ride. For missing. Cause of death? None. Left? Maybe. At 7.50 p.m., guests of the mansion entered and things seemed fine until the graveyard scene where four individuals vanished. To this day, no one has surfaced at the moment. On December 30th, 1987, the first tape was given by one of the workers of the haunted mansion, Anthony Gulliver, who reportedly buried the tape under one of the tombstones in the cemetery. Along with a few secret Disney memorabilia, the tape along with the second tape was buried itself. It wasn't until January 14, 1996, the second tape was uncovered after a freak accident involving one of the pieces of the ride breaking down and smashing into a tombstone. The tape was heavily damaged but the reel itself was recovered by two unknown individuals who were revealed as Walt Disney Imagineer workers. The tape wasn't recovered until February 20, 1998, it was fully recovered by archivists and workers at Disney who said themselves that people needed to see what really happened at the Haunted Mansion. Update. It turns out that the two WDI workers were named Jonathan Price and Nathan Blakesfield, and the archivists were from a secret Disney group called, the Disney Recover Archivists Society, also known as the DRAS for short. 
the dress were best known for recovering old Disney reels and known for recovering some of the test footages for movies during the period of time. As of right now, the dress had split in 2004, 